Welcome to the Screw the System channel. I'm Joe Barnes and today I'm going to be reacting to Victor Pride's Success Rebel video. Now this video is about six minutes long and it's the kind of video you watch when you need some mot motivation or inspiration. I first came across his work probably, probably about two years ago and actually this video was my introduction into his work. He also had a website called Bold and Determined. I think his YouTube channel was called Bold and Determined as well. But about maybe a year and a half ago, 2019, the end of, he suddenly disappeared off the internet, removed all of his content, all of his videos, all of his uh, blog posts, stopped selling his um, supplements as well, and suddenly became Brother Nicholas. He went from Victor Pride to becoming Brother Nicholas. I think his original name was Nick Kelly. Victor Pride was just a performing or pen name that he used, and he went back to his original, original name, embraced Christianity and obviously feels that this is not God's work so he has to remove it. So anyway I got this video by um, going onto YouTube and finding somebody else's channel who'd uploaded it. This is not the original upload from the Bold and Determined channel. It's somebody who simply downloaded the video at some point and then re-uploaded it on their channel. Anyway I've talked enough about the background of this video now it's time to get into it. <laughs> You think of rebels, and you think of outlaws, and tattoos, and guns. But the reality is that all the massively successful people in the world were either rebels or they were born rich. Were you born rich? Maybe you were, but most people weren't. And the path laid out for normal people is not the path to riches. It's the path to mediocrity. So the first thing that strikes me, actually, before I discuss the first point I want to make, do you know who this guy looks like? It's not so obvious now with his shaved head and uh, no facial hair. But when he's, if you see one or two of his other videos where he's got the longer hair and the beard, he looks a lot like uh, Bobby Cannavale, the actor. Bobby Cannavale was in Boardwalk Emp Empire, which is an excellent series that I loved. He played the character Jip Rossetti. He's currently in something called Nine Perfect Strangers on Amazon. So take a look at some pictures of him and then compare it to Victor Pride. See if you think, uh, see if you get the likeness. Personally, I'm glad that accountants and dentists exist. I'm glad they didn't follow their dreams. But on his deathbed, the dentist isn't going to say to himself, I'm so thankful I never did what I really wanted to do. I'm so glad I never rebelled and fulfilled my destiny. Speaking of destiny, I get the same. So this whole video is it's the kind of thing you'd put on if you wanted some motivation or some reassurance about the path you're taking. You know, you would put this on in the background or maybe even watch it and get this boost that yes, I am right in going my own way. I am right in trying to live my dreams and it, it serves its purpose. It's excellent in that regard. It's a real boost. I've watched this many times and I'll watch it when I'm making food or washing or getting ready and it just gives me a boost and a kick and that's that's what I like about it. And I think, I don't know whether his voice, having never obviously met the guy or spoken to him in person, I don't know he's putting that voice on, but the voice perfectly suits both the music and the words that he's saying in a sense and the name as well Victor Pride it's not his actual real name in a sense he's creating a character and he's playing along what it does is it reminds me of Fight Club and obviously Victor Pride here is in the role of Tyler Durden and the music as well I don't know whether it's royalty free or whether it's something he had created but it perfectly sets the scene and matches the tone of his voice and the tone of the message as well. So that's something immediately that gripped me about this video. Question asked of me repeatedly, Victor, I want out, but I don't know what I want to do. What should I do? Two answers. Number one, you're a liar. You know exactly what you want to do. Everyone on earth knows exactly what they want. You know it in your gut. You're lying to me and you're lying to yourself when you say that you don't know what you want. Number two, asking questions is simply a way of avoiding action. When you ask a question, you get to wait for an answer. Waiting is the opposite of doing. 
a surefire way to living the life of your dreams and a surefire way of living the life of your nightmares. How do you live the life of your dreams? Easy. Follow your gut. Following your gut. So what he's saying is that you need to cut through all the bullshit. This isn't difficult. Living the life of your dreams despite appearances, despite your experiences, is not actually difficult. All you have to do is keep following your gut and take action. That's a two-part formula. Follow your gut and take action. But he's highlighting the fact that so many me, many people need permission to live the life of their dreams. They're so uncertain because since birth, we've been bombarded with messages from the people around us telling us that it's not possible. So then when we have this moment of inspiration, we feel like we want to go out and achieve something or do something. Immediately, these voices around us and what's worse than that, the voices around us eventually end up becoming the voice in our head telling us that it's not possible, that it can't be done. And here is Victor saying, that's nonsense. You can do it. Just follow your gut and go for it and stop asking questions. Stop seeking permission. That's what he's saying. Stop looking for permission from other people to go ahead and live your dream. Just go and do it. Instinct is the path of the rebel. How do you live the life of your nightmares easier? Follow the directions laid out by society. To be a rebel is to face being ostracized. They say it's a lonely road to the top, so it's easier and it's safer to follow the path laid out for you. Gut instinct be damned. Let's go back. Earlier, I said you're a liar if you say you don't know what you want out of life. The reality is that you know exactly what you want out of life. You're simply scared of admitting it. When you pretend that you don't know what you want, you ask questions like, what should I do? What you're actually looking for is confirmation that your gut instinct is okay. Too bad. You can't have confirmation. Confirmation is for the nine to fivers. It's not for the rebels. It's not for the highly successful. You can have confirmation if you want to be a dentist or a banker. You can't have confirmation if you want to be an artist or an entrepreneur. No one is going to give you confirmation that it's okay to rebel. But there's a conundrum. You will only attain massive success if you rebel and go against the grain. Not only will success come when you rebel, but you may be held as a genius and a leader. We'll sit around you and say, wow, I wish I could. And again, he's making another great point that Massive success is usually only attained by those who rebel or go against the system in way in some way or innovate or create something new that improves upon the status quo. I made a video quite a while ago, one of my most popular videos called um, How the World Works and who, who Rules It. And in that video, I say there are three types of people. You have your kings at the top, you have your facilitators in the middle, and you have your poor at the bottom. Now, I'm a facilitator. These are all graded according to the amount of money or assets you possess. I'm a facilitator. I would imagine 99% of the people watching my videos are also facilitators. And the point Victor makes and the point I also make in that video is that yes, you can have a comfortable lifestyle being a facilitator, but you never achieve that um, massive level of wealth or even if it's not wealth you're after that massive level of success by be being a facilitator by following the crowd to achieve something exceptional you have to in a sense do what Victor says and rebel in some kind of way you've got to have a crazy idea that becomes successful or you have to sh show a crazy amount of determination to achieve something which will enable you to reach that king status so when he's making that point about rebelling to be successful i completely agree you do what you do you'll think to yourself you can do what i do just stop waiting for confirmation the longer you wait for confirmation the further you will get from your goal but you won't say it out loud anymore because by that point you'll realize that everyone who asks you for advice is a time waster. Everyone that asks you, what should I do? Is simply looking for a way to stall. How to fulfill your destiny. 
Stop asking what should I do, because you already know the answer. It's been decided by your gut already. But I know the self-doubt stops you. I know you think you aren't good enough. I know you think you don't deserve massive success. I know you think you aren't smart enough. But it doesn't take a genius to get wealthy. It takes determination and a belief in yourself. Dumb people get rich every day. The difference between them and you? Self-belief. So how do you get rid of self-doubt and replace it with self-belief? Always follow your gut instinct. See, I know something that maybe you... So this video, I'm guessing it's... I think I've read comments on uh, the video from which I'm... Uh, sharing this to sharing this now and reacting to and i think it's filmed in thailand so it's basically him walking around bangkok or wherever in thailand posing and and uh sp speaking i maybe maybe it's clips from other videos he made um but still i think it works really well the movement the the him talking but he's not actually saying the words you're hearing and again as i said before the music and the the tone of his voice combined to make a really uh, impactful message you don't know the gut is the second biggest nerve center in the human body and your gut is called your second brain the decision-making part of your mind is tightly interconnected with your gut and the decision-making part of the human body has very little connection with the area in the brain that processes words so where does the decision-making process happen in your gut your gut makes a decision in an instant what happens is your brain rationalizes why you shouldn't want what you want, but you can't fool your gut. Yeah, I've heard this many times that your gut um, is a sort of second brain and that we don't make decisions based on the part of our brain which processes language. We may make decisions based on our feelings. That very much makes sense to me. I don't know what the science is behind that. Maybe you could mention in the comments below if you've done greater research on it. But it does make a lot of sense. And again, he's reinforcing this message that you've got to go with your gut. That is how you should make your decisions. And what tends to happen when we're about to do that, when we're passionate about something, we want to go for it, and we feel that it's the right th thing to do, as he mentions, we talk ourselves out of it. Our brain interferes with our gut, tells us all the reasons, reasons which are usually reproduced from all of the things we've heard throughout our life from other people, from authority figures about why it can't happen, and implants the seed of self-doubt in our mind. We stop listening to our gut. Instead, we do what we do what makes sense instead of what feels right. And as a result of that, we might have comfortable, secure lives, but they are, by in general, boring and unfulfilled lives. So Follow Victor's advice. Make decisions based on your gut rather than your head. Here's a game for the game players and time wasters. If you don't believe what I'm saying to you, fine. No problem. But do two things for me. One, stop emailing me your time-wasting questions. And two, play this game. The game is called How to Decide What You Want. Here's what you do. Pick two options. Pick what you know you want in your gut. And then pick the thing that you're pretending to want. Now flip a coin. Heads you follow your gut. Tells you follow your brain. It doesn't matter if the coin lands on heads or tails. When the coin was in the air, you were wishing for heads and you knew what you wanted. Now you have confirmation. You don't need to ask permission anymore. You know exactly what you... So again, he's just reinforcing this. Probably the main message of the video is you already know what you want to do. Just go out and do it. And the coin toss is just a way of uh, emphasizing that point. Um, and it is a great point. As I said earlier, you watching this right now probably know what you want to do with your life. When are you going to give yourself the chance to be successful doing it? When are you going to be brave enough to make the leap? You want, so go do it. No more analysis paralysis. No more questions allowing you to stall. Just go do it. Until next time.
Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the video. And as I said before, this is a video I really like. It's excellent. I don't know a huge amount about the person, Victor Pride, or his Bold and Determined website, or at least when it was in existence. I did read a few articles. I did enjoy some of his content, but I never bought, bought anything from him or was that massively into his work. But I do admire this video tremendously. I'm going to leave a link to the video on its own below so that you can just watch it through by itself without my commentary. I also had an attempt at making a sort of motivational video. Mine is a little different to Victor Pride's. I don't appear in the video. However, I did write a short little motivational speech backed with some music and some images. Take a look at it. I'll leave a link in the comment section below. Uh, finally, just want to say thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, the, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.